want to guess? Is it point A has the maximum shearing stress? Or is it point B? Or is it point C? Anyone? Point A. Point A. Any, any anyone else? B. B. Anyone else? C. Okay. <laughs> hey, we are engineers. We don't guess. Okay. So some of you think it's C because the thickness is the, the smallest. Some of you think that it's B. You have more area. No, no, no doubt you have a wider thickness. Some of you think that it's A because it's always at the centroid. Yes or no? So the problem with this analysis is what? You have thin wall and you have thick wall. That is where the problem comes. Okay. Now, let's try this out. So we're going to remember our five rules again. The analysis start from outside in, right? So we are going to look at our shear stress at point C. So this is going to be thin wall, white flange, analysis. Okay, so the Q at point C. So remember what I told you that there's only one Q. So you need to put one Q down here. So the Q at point C is with depth Y bar. So the width for this case is uh, 30. The depth is 10. Then the, it's 160 divided by 2 minus by 10 divided by 2. Okay. So this will be equal to 80 minus 5 times 30 times 10 is equal to 22.5 times 10 to the power of 3 millimeter cube or 22.5 times 10 to the power of minus 6 uh, meter cube. Okay, so 22.5. Okay, so we can now uh, directly find. So once, the most difficult part is finding C, yes or no, right? Once you find, sorry, not finding, finding uh, first moment of area. So from here, the shear at point C is equal to Vy over Izz. I'll, I'll draw the global transformation again. I do sincerely apologize. So this is your Y. This is your Z. This is your rotation about X. Okay. So from here, your Vy over Izz is common. This is 22.5 times 10 to the power of minus 6. Then we divide by a thickness of 10 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Okay. So 22.5 power of minus 6 divided by 10 to the power of minus 3 is equal to 2.25. Okay, it's 2.25 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Vy over izz okay so we don't know this is the maximum then next we're going to find the shear stress at point b again again thin wall white flange analysis Right, again, you have Q. Then the Q at point B is equal to Q at point C plus by the width, depth, and Y bar. Okay, so this is equal to uh, 22.5 times 10 to power 3 plus by the width is equal to 20 
the depth 40 plus 10 is 50. So that the uh, uh, the distance is equal to 160 divided by 2. My so the analysis is from the the outside, right? 160 divided by 2, so is 40. Uh, 40 by 2, uh, uh, 40. So this distance from here to here, right, is equal to 30, right? So this will be equal to 32.5 times 10 to 3 plus by 50 times 50 times 20, 50 times 10 to 3. So 22.5, so it's equal to 72, uh, wait, wait, 160 by 2 minus 30, times by 20 times by 50. I think I'm getting somewhere wrong down here. So 160 divided by 2 is 80. So from here to here is 80, right? From here to here is 80. Is it 160, 80? So this over here is 10, yes or no? 10 plus by 20, 20, 10. Ah, sorry people, I'm being dumb. Sorry, I got it wrong because I divided this way. Okay, so still the top. So this is the area we are looking now, my bad. Okay, so this will be equal to 50 divided by 2. I don't know why I, I, I consider the, the 10 as... Okay, so this will be equal to 80 minus 25 times by 20 times by 50 is 55 times 10 to power 3. So 22.5 plus 50 is equal to 72. 22.5 plus by 55 is 77.5 times 10 to about 3 millimeter cube or 77.5 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube. Okay, so that's where we found, we can find our shear stress at point B. So it's equal to Vy over Izz. This will be equal to 77.5 times 10 to the power minus 6 divided by thickness is equal to uh, our thickness is what? 0 0.02 and then multiply by 1 why multiply by 1? because it is a uh, white flange you don't need to write this the multiply by 1 I'm just teaching now okay so that's why I'm writing it 0.5 power minus 6 divided by 0 0.02 is equal to 3 point I get 3.875 times 10 to the power of minus what? Times 10 to the power of minus 3. So this is higher, right? This is higher, right? So stress B is definitely higher than stress C. Okay. Then the last one, we need to look at uh, the stress at A. Okay, so the stress at A, so let me copy this whole thing down. So the stress at A, right? So you have to consider both areas now, okay? So the stress at A is analysis, stress as A, analysis, no way. Analysis is thick wall. Okay, so now the analysis is thick wall. So we have our Q at point A. So it's going to be twice. Okay, so you have to take the twice the first moment of area here. Right, so two the first moment of area of B plus by this pink section. 
Okay. Plus by that 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 pink section. Okay. So plus by your width, depth, y bar for the pink section. So twice first moment of area of B seven seven point five times ten to the power minus three, or I call it uh, seven seven point five times ten to the power three. Plus by the width, which is equal to one twenty. The depth is only thirty. And the y bar is 30 divided by 2. Okay. So this will be equal to 7.5 7 power 3 times 2 plus 120 times by 13 times by 15. It's equal to 209 times 10 power 3. Right. Millimeter cube. Or 209 times 10 to power minus 6 meter cube. So from here, your shear at point A is equal to V Y over I Z Z. First moment of area is 209 times 10 to the power minus 6. And then divide by the thickness. Now the thickness because it's thick wall analysis, right? So for thick wall analysis, you know that the T is equal to what? 0 0.12. Right for thick wall analysis, that the thickness is perpendicular to the what? Perpendicular to the direction of the shear force. Shear force. Remember, shear force. Yeah, shear force. Remember that. So this is your thickness. So T is equal to zero point one two. So two zero nine power minus six divided by point one two. So this is one point seven four one six. One seven times ten to the power minus three vy over izz. So you look at the three values now. Okay, you look at the three values now. You have one point seven four one seven. You have three point eight seven five. All times ten to the power minus three, and then you have what? Two point two five. Okay. So we know that this over here is less than the shear stress at point B, right? The shear stress by B is 3.875. So therefore, therefore, the shear stress at point B is equal to your tau max. So like what we have done before, the tau max is equal to 75 times 10 to power 6. Okay. So this will be equal to Vy uh, is equal to 3. what? We calculated 3.875 times 10 to the power of minus 3, right? Vy over Izz. So you find the relationship where Vy over Izz is equal to so 75 power of 6. Divide by 3.875 power minus 3 is equal to 19.3548 times 10 to power. Wait, I'm having 75 power 6 divided by 3.875 power minus 3 is 19. Point times 10 to power 9. Unit is Newton per meter four. So therefore, the shear stress at point A, right? The shear stress at point A is equal to 1.7417 times 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 19.3548 times 10 to the power 9. So this will be equal to 19.3548 power 9 times 1.7417 power. Minus three. It's good. Thirty three point seven one zero times ten to power six Pascal and the shear stress at point C. So point C is uh what what did you get? Point C is two point two five. Two point two five. Times 10 to the power minus 3 
multiply by 19.3548 times 10 to the power 9. So this will be equal to 2.25 power minus 3 times by 19.354. 2.25 power minus 3 times by 19.3548 power 9. 43.548 times 10 to the power 6. Pascal. Okay. So this is your answer for your analysis. Okay. So again, as I say, uh, this problem is unique because it, it combines uh, both thick wall and what? And thin wall. Okay. So what if now, okay, give me a few more minutes. Okay. What if now, Oi. What if now right? The shear force is in this direction. Right now the shear force is in the what? In the z direction. What will happen now? So if you were to construct the shear flow, right? If you were to construct a shear flow, the shear flow will now look like this. Okay. Remember, is the web that is carrying the load from left to right now? It's following the direction of the of the of the of the of the of the, of, of the shear flow. Okay. So this is the direction now. Okay. So when that's the case, you will have the shear flow coming this way. And then going out this way. Okay. So if you look at start, you have two different start down here. So start number one, start number two. And then you have two different endpoints. And Number one and n what? Number two. So it's straightforward, yes or no? It is still gonna be what? It's still gonna be white flange analysis. Yes or no? Right? And then you divide your, your section. Okay, this is the way you divide your section. So point B and point C is still what? It's still uh thin wall, and then point A is thick wall. Where the maximum is, I don't know. You have to find out. Okay. Again, same way of finding out, same procedure is the analysis that counts. Okay. Right. So this is the end of sharing stress. As I said, we have to we have spent close to two and a half weeks on this topic. It is one of the most complex uh uh topic in structure analysis or strength of material. So, but if you remember the four rules that I state, you'll be fine, okay? And then take one, thin one analysis. And those of you in civil engineering, you're still design, you will be using this, your structure analysis, you'll be doing this also. Those of you who are in, in manufacturing, you still have to use this when you go into finite element, okay? Right, I'm going to call for a break. Any questions before we go? For a break, okay, not the end of the class. Anyone, any question? How long is the break? Eugene, I think you muted yourself. Okay, you can hear me now, right? Yeah. Just muted, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll see you later. What time do we have to be back? 10 minutes past 8. Okay.